Yeah, if you got more than five of them, then it's home. Hey, man. So, I don't Hold know on. what happened, but apparently... Can you show me the law? I'm, hey, man. I'm just scared because they called me here. I know, I know you're doing your job, bro, but you're going to be stealing my car. Can you do me a favor? I don't have any contract with these people, man. So you guys are going to be... Thank you. We'd like to have this conversation first. Yeah, I think... Here's the thing. There's no conversation. You're in violation, and the car's getting towed. If you continue to cause a problem and not let the tow truck driver do his job, then you can both go to jail for delaying. For delaying? Yes. Do you realize that if you do that, you're the one that's committing a crime? Okay. Like I said, I'm because not having this argument with you. You're stealing I'm... someone's property. Okay. If you don't pay your parking tickets, then you're towing. But your that's not a towed. crime, sir. Who, it is a who, crime. who is the victim there? The, the, who's the victim? Yeah. Well, well in order for it to be a crime. In the state of California. And what is that? The state of California, sir. Okay, like I said, I'm not having this conversation. Well, I would, I would like happened. to talk to a supervisor. Okay. Yeah, we can. You, you let him know? Yeah, so you guys are, you guys are going to be committing a crime on video? Very well. That's what you want to believe, and that's fine. Well, what authority do you have to take my car? What's that? 22651I of the vehicle. 22651I? And what does that state? That states if you got more than five unpaid parking tickets in a certain amount of time, your parking is Uh huh. And how do you know that code applies to me? Because our, our city staff keep track of parking tickets and they let us know which cars are in violation. Are you going to show me the documentation? I don't have the documentation. Well, would you please show it to me? You guys can't just go around stealing people's cars, man. You think it's okay to steal people's cars? I'm not stealing Well, will you please show me the documentation? So you guys are going to put on notice for $15,000. You're conspiring on the color of law. So you're coming here to steal my car, correct? We're not stealing your car. We're towing it. Okay, what authority do you have to take my car without my consent? California Vehicle Code 22651, subsection I. And how do you know that applies to me? Because you haven't had a car? How do you know that code applies to me? It's your car, correct? I don't answer questions. Okay. Supervisor's on his way, so you can talk to him. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and pull him in your car. No, ma'am. My car is being stolen without consent. There's a person in the car under vehicle code 260A. A commercial vehicle is used for hire. This car is a private conveyance, a house car, a passenger car. My friends, we have been duped and deceived. So we have put these guys on notice for a $15,000 inconvenience fee. You guys are conspiring under color of law. There is no crime being committed except by you guys here. I ask for the authority. Where do you get your authority to take this car? They cited a vehicle code. I asked, where do you have the application of that code? They did not show me any documentation. They just come over to take my car. My friends, if you don't stand up for what is right in this life, evil takes over, my friends. These guys aren't bad guys. They're just doing their job. The politicians have made them their slaves. These guys are doing it for a paycheck. My friends, morality is more important than money. I know you're a good guy, man, but you're on notice. $15,000, you're gonna be personally liable. Your company is gonna be liable under uh, the violation of Title 18. This is a federal law. You guys are doing crimes and lawsuits against a peaceful man. You showed me no documentation. My friends. So if you are going to stand around and let peaceful people be violated, then they're coming for your property next. My friends, anybody who harms peaceful people is the actual criminal. You guys are taking a property without consent. You have to get consent of the owner. I asked for the documentation. They do not show me the documentation. So what is happening is a crime is being committed by these guys and this guy, 
And so I'm someone who believes in human rights. I believe in human freedom. I'm a child of God, just like you. Child of nature, if you choose. Child of humanity. It's not okay to take property without permission. And so if you guys are going to continue to steal my property, you guys are going to be subject to Title 18 federal lawsuits, Title 14 under color of law, depriving me of my rights. Under the Supreme Court case, Ken versus Dulles, 1958, the right to travel is covered under liberty. What is your guys' names, please? Officer Rhodes. What's your badge number? 160. Officer Rhodes, 160. Sir, what's your badge number? 173. And what's your name? Hanson, 173, did you swear to uphold and protect my life, liberty, and property? Do you guys have a sworn oath in the county and the state for which you work for? If you have an oath which is required under color of law, you are actually committing treason. You're perjuring yourself. You guys are going to be personally liable for the crimes that you're committing right now. If you swear to uphold the life, liberty, and property of people, and you violate that oath, you are now subject to felonies for years and tens of thousands of dollars in fines. My friends, there's a worldwide awakening happening. You don't have authority to take property without consent. Show me the warrant, show me the paperwork. They refuse to show me the paperwork. They refuse to show me any documentation. They're just coming over and making claims. I say, where's the code that applies to me? No documentation. My friends, we come in peace. We seek peace with all people. We respect your rights and nature from nature or God. And we're standing up for humanity. We have been duped to the license. Only a commercial driver needs a license. What do you mean? An Uber driver uses the road for hire. He needs a license. UPS? uses the road for hire, he needs a license. FedEx uses the road for hire, he needs a license. I do not need a license to travel. I do not need to be subject to your codes. I am not a commercial driver. Look up the California Vehicle Code, 260A, which defines a commercial vehicle for you. My friends, this is a private house car. This does not require any type of permission or documentation so what you're seeing here is organized crime take a car without consent I've asked for the documentation I've asked for the paperwork they refuse to show me the paperwork so they swore an oath to uphold life liberty and property and if they don't uphold it then they're committing deprivation of rights under title 18 so what do you do guys when your job requires you to harm peaceful people hey, can you stand back on the sidewalk please yeah, tell them. They're blocking the road. See, you're stealing this lady's time. You're blocking the road. You're blocking the byway. Why are you guys stopping the road? You guys are causing a lot of commotion around here. You guys are believing that this code applies to me. I've, I've contacted the DA. I've contacted the city attorney. They don't respond to my sincere request to expose that you're parking codes are a violation of human rights. Would you like to talk, sir? This car is getting towed. Okay, it is getting towed. It is? Yes. Okay. And if I have to break a window and take her out, she will be arrested for obstructing can us, I, can delaying I see the paperwork? and obstructing Can us. I see the paperwork? This car is getting towed, and if I have to take her out, I will. I don't want to do that. So don't do it, man. Hey, but I am going to because so, the car is getting so we, towed. So can we agree to a peaceful resolution today? The peaceful resolution is get out of the car and the car is being towed. That is the peaceful resolution. But you don't have the paperwork to show me, man. The car is being towed. Drog. The car badge is number, being towed. What's your badge number? 120. 120. Are you going to step out of the car? The car is being towed. Yeah. If I have to break a window and forcibly remove her, I will. Why would you do the that? The car is being towed. Why would you use, why would, why would you use violence against a peaceful guy? The car is being towed. Why would you, you do that? Down a okay. Bit so I can talk to you? Do, do you understand? I have explained to you what is going to happen. I don't want to do that. So, so why would you use violence against a peaceful guy? Beep. 
So are you guys going to continue? You, you get in the car. They will be arrested. These guys are going to use violence against peaceful people. My friends, if you don't stand up for peace, these guys are going to be dominating you. We come in peace. Where is the people who are going to stand up for peace and consent? Show me the code that applies to me. This is not a commercial car. Do you understand? This is not a commercial car. This is a private house car under California Vehicle Code 260A. This is what you guys are violating us. You guys. So how do you guys morally justify what you're doing? You're gonna be liable for fifteen thousand dollars, dude. You I don't call care. Your, you wanna call your boss, dude? I've already talked to my boss. He already knows about it. He told me to take the car. Okay, what's the boss's name? I ain't, I'm not allowed to give out that kind of information, sir. Dude, you think it's okay to stake someone's property without their uh, consent? You're in within six feet of my uh, range. Do you, how do you morally justify what, what you're doing, man? Okay. What's your name? One forty. How do you morally justify taking property without consent? My friends, these guys are going to use violence against me. Do not get in the car. See this? They're using violence against my own property. You guys are committing treason against your oath. Show me the law which requires the average person to have a license or registration to be subject to your code. How do you morally justify what you guys are doing? Dude, you guys don't have to live like this, guys. Dude, you're still sworn an oath. You, what's going on. you guys up. don't have to live like this, Back man. Up. You came at me, dude. Dude, how do you morally justify what you guys are doing, guys? You guys. You guys are stealing this car without consent. Stay away from him while he's doing his job. What are you gonna do if I don't? Are you gonna use violence against a peaceful man? Are you gonna Don't touch me, dude. Dude. And what if I don't? Huh? Are you gonna use violence against me? I'm you to Are you gonna use violence against me? I'm My friends, this is an organized crime syndicate. Take notice. You guys are next. If you don't stand up for yourself, my friends, they're gonna steal your stuff too. We know you guys are organized crime. We come out here in peace, and you guys threaten us with guns. You threaten to kidnap us. It's not okay that you violate peaceful people. That's why I walk around here when the politicians are doing you wrong. My friends, you're not bad guys. It's the politicians who are making you do this. Take a stand for yourself. We understand the politicians are corrupt, right? Trump and Biden both suck, correct? All politicians are using co coercion against peaceful people. You guys do not need to work this way. Why would you want to use violence against peaceful people? Do you want to live this way? My friends, say no to the politicians. Say yes to the people. Didn't you swear an oath to uphold my life, liberty, property, constitution? Forgive all the enemies, foreign and domestic? Don't you know there's a worldwide awakening happening? Don't you see 20, 30 people on this street who are coming out here because of the commotion you guys are how a peaceful man is getting his car stolen? You guys don't want to live this way. Take a look at Nazi Germany. Take a look at Russia. Take a look at the, the countries before who use good guys like you to enforce criminal acts and codes and orders. My friends, it's a worldwide awakening. There's thousands of people behind me. There's thousands of people online who are going to be exposed to your violence against peaceful people. My friends, it's not okay that you live this way. It's not okay that you harm peaceful people and pretend that you're not doing it. You threatened to kidnap me. You threatened me to throw me in a jail. You guys, freedom is the issue of our lifetime. Peace is the issue of our lifetime. We will never back down for peace and love and the goodness of humanity. How can you more you justify this in court? Dude, you shouldn't be taking my call, man. You don't want to live this way, dude. Why do you want to live this way? I'm a peaceful guy. I'm not going to hurt you guys, dude. Dude, why do you want to live this way, man? I'm trying to help you, dude. You don't want to live this way. Dude, you're being exposed as a criminal. 
Dude, why do you want to live this way, man? I'm trying to help you, dude. You don't want to live this way. You're being exposed as a criminal, man. You don't care about the law. You care about your paycheck. Dude, why do you want to live this way, man? You don't want to live this way. I'm trying to help you, man. You don't want to live this way. You're hurting peaceful people, man. Dude, why do you why do you want to live this way, man? I'm trying to help you, dude. You, you want to steal property for a living, dude? You're the jackboots. You're the bad guys. Dude, I'm not going to use violence on you, dude. I'm trying to help you. You're not going to sleep well in years, dude. Harming peaceful people. That's why police officers have double the spousal abuse. That's why you guys have alcoholism rakes and addictions. Because you know you are harming peaceful people. You know it. I can see it in your eyes. Stop harming peaceful people. You don't want to live this way, man. How long are you going to sell your soul for money? Hey. I'm doing it just because the politicians tell me to. It's my job, my friends. If your job requires you to harm peaceful people, if your job requires you to steal other people's property, you gotta quit, man. You have to quit. See, now they pull my property for three unpaid parking tickets. That's what they stole it for. And now, off they go. The organized crime syndicate, give us our money. Now, okay. Now we stole property and they leave. They don't no paperwork. Aren't you guys gonna give me paperwork? Hey, aren't you gonna give me paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Where's my car being towed to? Hello? Aren't you gonna give me the paperwork? Get out of the roadway. Give me the paperwork. Give me the paperwork. Where's my car being taken to? If you continue to block my car, you will be arrested. Are you gonna kidnap me again? For being a piece of where's the paperwork? Hey, where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Don't block Where's the paperwork? You're gonna get arrested. Where's the Stop. paperwork? Hey, where's the paperwork? Hey, where's the paperwork? You guys don't give me no paperwork? You guys are a disgrace to humanity, dude. Stealing people's cars and no, not even giving no paperwork. Disgraceful, dude. So disgraceful that this is what's happening out here in Santa Cruz, California, man. I'm trying to stand up for peace and human rights, and these guys are stealing property without even giving me paperwork. What a disgrace this is. Unbelievable, you guys organize crime syndicates, man. But don't worry, peace and freedom is on the rise. Love is on the rise. Even though those guys use, use violence against me, I send them love. I send them peace. They're part of the human family. They're trying to put food on the table for their family. And we send them agape love. Those are my brothers and sisters. Turned into a reptilian. Give me no paperwork. They stole it. They literally just stole the vehicle. Fucking criminals, dude.